what's going on YouTube. So before we get into today's video, I got some really exciting news for you guys. We're coming up on our 100th Mentorship Monday, which is incredible. Thank you guys for submitting all those questions to help me at theroastergroup.com for me to answer here on the YouTube page. I'm eternally grateful for all that support for me to have content to produce for you guys. And as a thank you and as a really awesome way to celebrate with you guys, I'm going to have our 101st Mentorship Monday on June 4th. And it's going to be live. I'm going to do it live here on the YouTube channel, June 4th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. June 4th, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You have to be here on the YouTube channel so you can watch live Mentorship Monday. I'm going to answer live Lots of questions. I'm going to have some special guests. And I just finished a book for biggerpockets.com on how to raise private money. The book just got finished. It gets launched in July, but I'm going to do some free giveaways of the book. Here on the here on the on the uh, at that event, you got to be there. I'm gonna do some other free giveaways, and like I said, I'm gonna have some special guests with me too. So you guys need to check this out. It's gonna be a great event with lots of freebies and lots of really cool things we're gonna do and get into some questions and everything. It's gonna be it's gonna be a ball. You guys need to be here, June 4th, 3 p.m. Please be there. I'll uh, look forward to seeing you guys then. What is happening, YouTube? It's Matt Faircloth. Thank you for watching Chats with Matt here on our YouTube channel. As you guys know, here's how Chats with Matt goes. I bring in a fellow real estate investor dude. This is my man, Rick Wright. Give it up. Ah! This is Rick Wright. He and I have been friends for a very long time, but we're also fellow real estate investors. And Rick is going to play in Chats with Matt with me. The way that it goes is he's going to throw out a real estate question or conversation, and we're going to just chat. We're going to just see where the conversation goes sometimes. Uh, you never know where it's going to go. So uh, hang out here and watch out. Rick, what do you got? Like, what do I got? What do you got? How long is a Chinaman? How long is his name? That's all I got for you. <laughs> That's awful. That's awful. No. It's, I, you know what the answer is? What? How long? How long? <laughs> how long is a Chinaman? How long is his name? That's hysterical. Um, yeah. So the question I have for you, because we're just sort of... <laughs> I'm just thinking this. Um, you caught me on guard with that this one. Is gonna, yeah, we're gonna get, we might get silly a little bit on I know. chats with Matt. Yeah, but anyway, this is a serious question. Yes. So as you're building your empire. Yes. Right. Because you are building an empire. Yes. I've seen it. From yes. When you were. Yes. A little. Since I was a little, wee one. Little emperor to, yeah. you know, to a bigger emperor. <laughs> the. Uh, how do you mean to, you know since then you you know you, you were married and, and no kids at that time. Yes. Now you have. Uh, a three-year-old, four-year-old, a four-year-old, and a one-year-old. One year old. Yes. Yeah. So, um, how do you balance? Life has gotten bigger. Yeah. Family, kids, health, because we talk about that. Yep. Um, quality of life. Because it's not just business, is it? Like, yeah. You and I know business people that are very successful that you know are overweight. You can tell that they're putting in ninety hours a week. You can tell they're not having any fun. Yeah. You know, there's no balance, right? So that's what you're saying is how do you instigate balance yeah. in your life given that it grows? I think that okay, I'll, I'll go a little deeper on you. Okay. I think that that I am not the man that I was when I first started my company, and I think that that growing as a person is what enabled me to grow as a businessman, first and foremost. You and I have done landmark education together. Um, we're part of a fraternity called MDI, I guess I can call it a fraternity called MDI. Yeah. Um, you know, and so we've done a lot of personal growth for a lot of the same books and stuff like that. And I think that I submit to you guys too, that it's not just like, I want to build a big business. It's who do I need to become to run the business that I want to run? Mm -hmm. And in the becoming of the businessman that I was, I was aware, like, let me apply, apply some of these principles of, you know, goal setting and hard work and everything like that to my life too, yeah. because I realized that it's a well-rounded thing, you know, just like that business owner that we've talked about, you know, not one specific person, but just, I want to be healthy, I want to be there for my kids, I want to be, you know, so I'm constantly working on all facets of my life, uh -huh. you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm on some of this funky diet right now where I'm fasting 16 hours a day and everything like that, so I'm doing that for my health. Um, I'm, you know, I have certain rules around my kids that I implement on myself. Like when I'm with my son, my cell phone cannot be in the room or it cannot be in my hand because I, I will check email. Yeah. I just, you know, so I just I prevent myself from even like being, I just start to be present with him. Yeah. You know, I don't have the cell phone in my hand. So I, I think it's just continuous improvement everywhere. But it's applying a lot of principles you and I learned. You know? Cool. Yeah, yeah. So, so what you're saying is that you, you actually, as a person, to, to do all that and have that balance, you just need more tools. You need to grow. Yes. You need to grow with the situation and, and how things are. You got to grow into the situation. Yeah. Right. right. Cool. Right. No, what I, I, I was what came just came to me is like, what is your what is your why for yeah. your business? 
Like, what is your why? Like, do you like do you know like where you want to go to, or do you don't even, or you just, or you just going? I just want to like a kid. Just, I'm like a kid with Legos. You just, just go. I'm just build it. Just build it. No, no, no. I do. I do have a do why. You know, yeah. What's the why? What's, I do have a why. The end game? You know, I do have it? a why. I do have a why. And and part of my why is creating the life that I want for my family, which is a lot of just time involvement, like just time with my family and everything like that. And I think to get personal, I think as you know, there were some messes that I made in my business, um, you know, with some help from others, uh, like like three or four years ago, right? I still spend a lot of my time cleaning that up, you know, and in cleaning up things like like just mistakes I made in the past and unwinding that stuff while I'm also building the future I want for myself. The future I want for myself is very similar to what you have, which is ownership of time. Like, you know, you have this context of, like a, like a kid with a baseball bat smashing an alarm clock. Yeah. Because you don't wake up to an alarm anymore. We haven't woke up to an alarm in years, Correct. as I understand, right? Yes. So, you know, for, for Rick, Rick is a very live life on the terms that he wants real estate investor. Um, for me, I'm looking to get there, but I also want to bring along more people mm. to that. And I'm not saying it's not anything that you want to, you don't want to do, but I want to like create a life with my, for myself where there's a lot of time freedom for myself, but I'm also touching a lot of lives and benefiting a lot of people on the way, uh, which might mean employees, tenants, um, the book that I just wrote for Bigger Pockets too, to teach them how to do what you and I do. Yeah. You know, cool. so that's why. Yeah, that's yeah. great. I can promise you it's not so I can make a lot of money. Yeah, you know? okay. Um, yeah, because I always, I, I see a lot of real estate investors that are like you said, they're just you can you look at them and they just look exhausted. Just one more right. deal. Yeah, they just want to do one just, more they, deal. They, they can't. They want to make one more dollar. Yeah, they right. can't. They just can't help themselves. Um, I think a lot of people out there, like, um, have a chip on their shoulder for something, you know. Yeah. And this could be something that was put on their shoulder by their dad when they were ten, five years old, or whatever. And a lot of successful people just want to strive and achieve and build and conquer because they want to prove themselves to yeah. somebody. That, 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 that somebody might not even be around anymore. Oh, yeah. I had a good upbringing, you had a pretty good upbringing, yeah. so I don't have a chip on my shoulder. I don't, I don't have to prove myself to anybody aside from myself, you know? What was, what, see, what was good, I just wanted to, I you just sort of sparked something. I remember when I first came into this building, right? Because when we first met, no, it was like, probably empty. Yeah, <laughs> you were the one who took me it was by vacant, the hand. Right. You literally took me by the hand, Matt took me by the hand, mm. I don't know if it was literally. I don't know if But anyway. I hope not. We, no, it wasn't literally. <laughs> but we had, a, we had a real estate agent. We went we went literally four hours one day, and I bought I three remember. units. I remember right? that. I bought a duplex, and I bought a single family home I, all the same day. I right? remember that. It was four hours, and that was, and that was the start of my journey. What was good about being in this building was if I wasn't in this building, I sort of played that game a little bit right out of the gate. Because remember back in the day when everybody wanted to get to 30 units? Let's race to 30 units. So there was a bunch of realer real estate investors in this building that were all hard charging to get units. So, right. And I got caught up in it. Yeah. Like I wanted to keep up and I wanted to have the most units. And I wanted to do all that. And that was great. And I, I, I'm, I'm glad that that happened because now I'm, I'm reaping the time benefits of that. But you cross the line of the amount of units it takes to sustain yourself. But what's interesting yeah. about you is that you're not the guy that wants, Rick's not the guy that, that needs or wants like four or five, 600 units. A lot of people watching might be like, no, I want a thousand units of rentals. Yeah. Well, first of all, why? You know, you gotta get connected to why connected you want that. And I can why. tell you that there is some involvement you're gonna have to have in order to get many units. And for you, you've what, like 50 something? Over, just over 50. Okay, yep. so what you think about Rick is Rick doesn't have any employees. He's able to run 50 units on his own on how many hours a week? 20 maybe. I don't know if I want to say on, on camera. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Just let's just say I'm semi retired. Right. It's not a forty it's not a four or forty hour a week. I put job. two two, three hours a week in in the office. In the office and it all depends if I come in that day. Right? Yeah. My two just, hours a day. Just so you know, this this year, my goal when it's nice out for this year is to only work four days a week. I'm taking one day off every week. Because what's your biggest hobby? Uh, I ride motorcycles. He rides them. He has two motorcycles that he rides. So, like that. so God my, bless him. yeah. So he, and, but here's the thing. Next year, yeah, I'm taking two days off. <laughs> so I'm only working three days. The following year, yeah. right? Down to two. Down to, down to four, two. No, four days off. Four days off. Right, 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 right. So that's that's the way I'm working. That's what but I'm the going. Point, the and point again, is like what you were saying. I, yeah. I've cre- the reason I can do that is because of what I've created. Yes. And it, and it's the systems. It's not that I don't have and work going on. you knew, you on. knew when to stop. Yeah. You had the, I think it's courage to stop growing and say, okay, I'm at 50. 
-hmm. I've got the systems in place that I can handle my portfolio at with just me. Yes. And not having to hire what I did. I had a bunch of employees. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you know, it's all good. And it enabled me to build a bigger business than that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, there, there's ups and downs associated with that too, right? Yeah. Um, and everything like that. And so you're able to run it without any employees at all. You're able to run it yourself pretty much as a part-time position. Yeah. You know? And here's the thing. What's going on is now is like now that I'm consolidating my debt, I'm reorganizing things, I'm creating systems, I'm getting more time, I'm getting freed up, I'm actually getting the itch to get back out there again and start putting some more, you know, getting some more properties. Yeah. Um, but what the great thing is, is now that I cut my teeth and learned all those things and learned how to watch the bad debt, remember the, the, the unsecured debt that we had yeah, and all this other stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, listen, you go, you do what you got to do to build the business. When the and I, yeah, you got to do. Yeah. And we did, and I, I did it. So now what's happening is, is everything's restructured. The systems are in place. Now what I build moving forward will be more lucrative. I'll get more return on investment. There won't mm. be as much debt. There won't be as much... Uh, stress. It would be streamlined. Yeah, it'd be yeah. streamlined. So now, as adding, long as you don't compromise the terms you have for your life, so absolutely. if you can get yourself to 60, 70 units and still manage it yourself as a part time business without having to pick anybody up, yep. then then you know then you can do that. But I get that you're very defensive of the life that you get to lead because of your real estate. So you're not going to compromise that so you can buy more units. Yep. Right? Which you have a vision board? I, I, I have no one in forever. Okay. I, mean, I used to, I have one. From when I watched The Secret like 10 years ago. 10 years ago yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. So I did mine a while ago. Just so you know, my, on my vision board, it's a, yeah. you know, like a construction type paper, but I don't, I don't know. I don't, it's this big. Mm -hmm. I don't know how big that is. But right in the center, I, I went and I got, I went and got magazines when I did it. Um, I probably spent about 40 bucks in magazines because, you know, these damn things, you know, they, they're yeah, not yeah, cheaper yeah. anymore. Right. But the one thing was, it was on the back of a cover. It was a huge watch. Yep. So the time. Yeah. Right? So it's, and it's funny because when I when I do my daily, I, I have a daily routine for success. One of those things is looking at my vision board and doing my visualization. It's funny because it was it's Sunday, uh, 2008, December 28th, 3.54 a.m. That's, that's what the watch says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know that's what crazy. it says. So like I always, looked at, I so always looked at it so many So I always look at it. And it's funny because the watch is here. You know, my, my check to myself from the universe for $100 million yeah. is up here in a small spot. You know, it's not that big. I have another spot where I have, mm. you know, someone who's physically fit. Like, that's a bigger spot. Right. So my the why... the thing is in the center. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah. it's being healthy, um, being, uh, having time, you yeah. know. And of course, in this world that we live in, it's, you have to have capital and you have to be able to support yourself. So, yeah. Cool. So it's cool. So that's what... Yeah. Uh, so let me ask you this. The, uh, the health thing. Yes. So, so what's your why around health? Well, so it used to be, uh, you know, so I could feel good, look good, you know, and right, don't watch it. But now that I can't feel good, <laughs> no, I mean, but honestly, like all joking aside, like my energy's better when I, you know, when I'm in shape, my energy's better, right? Yeah. But uh, now that I have kids. Uh, it's a hundred percent so I can live a long life and be there for them because I don't want to be another statistic, you know, uh, of just some dude that, that, you know, fell over and had a heart attack at his desk at 44 years old or whatever, right? I want to live a long life and give age? my daughter away for what? hundred, hundred years. hundred. That'd be a hundred. Chinzano, hundred years. Okay. What's your goal age? 105. 105? <laughs> yeah. The year 2070. Oh. November 27th. But you're older than me, so you'll die first, though, if you live to 105. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 by that time, by that time, I'll be, I'll be ready to go. 90, right. 95, I'll be like, holy shit. I know, I got I 10 know. more to go. Did I say 100? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like to live, I want to live a long, vibrant life into my, uh, way into my elder years so I can see my grandkids and see my kids grow all the way up and see if, like, the seeds I planted in their heads really grow and everything like that. And really, so you imagine your, what your business and, and the legacy and yeah. that. Oh, all, man, that too, all that, too. All that, too. Cool. So, so, next question. This is the important question. When was the last time you had fun for yourself? Uh, let's see. What does it have fun for myself? Yourself. Don't say I took my kids to the park. I took my kids to the park. To to I love that. Place. I always ask, you know, I always ask people, "What'd you do?" Oh, my family came over. To, I'm like, that's not fun. I'm just sitting <laughs> in a chair, wishing that you were by yourself, you know, with the remote, yeah, just yeah, hanging yeah. out. Right, you know? right, right, right. I, you know, give it to me. <laughs> if you don't have anything, then I'm going to ask for a commitment. 
Oh, on live. In front of them. On, so on. there's been a few moments where it was just just outright fun for me. Like at my wife's birthday party, you know, I, 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 just, I just got to have, yeah, you and I, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know. The, ju the juice was flowing and everything. Um, but uh, I, I think that, that it's been a while since I've done something that's, that's been exclusive for me. You know, um, I went to go to Great Adventure. Yeah, me and me and Rick when we first got started bought season passes to Great Adventure, and we would just slip off. You know, on a, on, a, on a Tuesday, two in the <laughs> afternoon. Two big nutlines on King the Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> right, it'd be like you know, forty kids there on a field trip, and then you and me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I right. These two guys. Right. Yeah, I don't like want to these guys up to. Right. What are you doing here? Right. Yeah, yeah. But so, here's the, here's the thing. On a serious note. Yes. We needed that. Yes. That's why we did it. We yes. actually signed up for it because we said, you know what, well, we need to have that break. We need yes. to have that release. We need yes. to do that because that's when you and I were in the trenches really digging yeah, it out. Yeah, I needed so. that. No, I still, I still do need that. And it's, it's tough because you've got a family and kids and business and a marriage and everything like that. So I still like, what, just, what would you do fun for yourself? Because if you didn't, I'm going mm -hmm. to make a little... We'll I went skiing commitment. like months ago. Uh, but that's like, like in the last month or two, I haven't done much to take care of myself. Okay. Like just, just me directly, you know, so and I went to a Russian bathhouse in Philly, uh, oh, a month ago. Really? It's amazing. They have these, you go, you get in these super hot, like steam room, like, like freaking sweat five seconds that you're in there. Yeah. And they have a cold pool, right? And you go into the steam room and you jump in the cold pool. Oh my God. The cold pool, it, was, it must have been 40 degrees, yeah. jumping in the cold water. And you go back and forth. Yeah. Like, and so I did that about a month ago. Just so you know, um, my team's doing that for our next team event. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I'm looking forward to it. This one's definitely cool. Cool, so, all right, so you did something. Wrap. So you've been doing something, all right. I so did something a while ago, but no, you know what? I, I, I need to look into, like, just we going to the movies beach too, or remember? going to movies. Yeah, I, I want to go see Infinity War. That's the, the uh, Avengers movie that's coming out. I want to go see that. Oh. Yes. Okay. Maybe you and me. Yeah. You and me? Cool. All right. We get a wrap. Um, cool. Thank you guys for watching. Rick, how did they get a, how do they get, a, if people want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? And I get, oh, you don't, you're not like website, email, all this other kind of stuff. But yeah, like, to, to, if people to, want to hear more about the way that you've modeled a very term centered, you know, like real estate business, I didn't even say part time because it's not like you're doing anything else. Yeah. You've been able to, you have a really great balance between your real estate business and your life. So if you want to pick your brain about that, how do they get a hold of you? Yeah, and by all means, if you want to pick my brain about that, I, I share that with anybody for yeah. nothing. Very generous. I, my, my purpose is I. Free advice from this guy, yeah, right? <laughs> I, I exist to serve by living a full and balanced life. That's oh. my purpose. So, how do they get a hold of you? I don't know, man. So you can, you can email me at uh, EZ. R A W three at gmail.com. That's Echo Zebra Romeo Alpha Whiskey number three at gmail.com. Easy Raw three yeah. at gmail.com. The reason I made that email what? is because it's easy email. <laughs> easy, my initials. R A W, your initials. Three, and then three. At, at, at gmail.com. <laughs> um, and you can get a hold of me there, or you can look me up on Facebook, uh, Rick Wright. I have a coach page there, too, which I really don't go on. But you can look me up personally, Rick Wright, or you can look up my page, Rick Wright, uh, which is a, um, like a fan page. Right. Most they do for the coaching. Yeah, yeah. 200 people on there. Like yeah, it. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I'm sure I like it, too. Dude, thank you. Thank you for being a part. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave some questions, comments below. Shoot Rick an email if you want to. Have a great, profitable week.